yesterday we were uh, watching this video and uh, we were actually creating this video not watching and by, by the end here uh, if you can see we ran this server and we were able to get the Windows XP 64 here but we were unable to install it the reason was that uh, uh, I played I, around a little bit after I m stopped making the video. That was uh, not a good installation um, medium. So I uh, got another one, played with it. Then I was stuck at uh, basically the Windows was not able to find the uh, installation. Was not able to find the LAN drivers, uh, which uh, network drivers. So today i want to create and see if it's uh, uh the medium is bad or do i have to find uh, the uh, drivers i went to driverspacks.net and downloaded a bunch of drivers i tried but uh, you know i got it uh, it was getting too late it was almost like three in the morning so i simply gave up so today i don't want to go through with all that uh, trouble again i'm just going to create a video and give this give that uh, sorry i'm going to just create a virtual machine give that machine the iso and see if it installs the windows xp or not <coughs> so create win xp yeah i actually go and uh, delete the yeah that's enough I actually go and delete the uh, I actually go to this folder and delete my machines when they get corrupted I can simply delete them so they don't uh, uh, hog up the disk space and then I get to use the same name again so I'm gonna get it 50 GB like always actually is my first machine with XP I had 20 GB hard disk imagine that I'm gonna go with that one. Let's do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it an install. Loading network resources. Installation medium right then. To see what happens. I simply wanna go. F uh, quickly wanna check if uh, my medium of XP is good or not. <coughs> okay so yeah i used to get that uh, uh this screen last night then it will run some here and it's bringing back memories uh it brought memories last night uh but it didn't work on the over the pixie on virtual machines so oh good i never got to this one screen so it means the installation medium is good it's just that uh, i need uh, to find the correct LAN drivers uh, so i can work on that just for the sake of this uh, i can testing i'm going to go through with the full installation yep f8 i agree okay let's press f8 on portion space so we're going to use all of it Former departure and DFS file system. Okay, go ahead. Oh yeah, so many memories. So basically, the medium is good now. All I have to do is just actually go and find the drivers for the Intel um, LAN. I downloaded a bunch of them and I, nothing was working. Now I'm suspecting more and more that uh, the driver in question could be. Uh, for the so basically I'm actually clueless which driver it should be uh, like old drivers or new ones okay. or what so uh, now the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just download this driver for this one that is if you can see this one i211 gigabit network driver I'm gonna just put it there and see what happens actually while it's happening let's search for it um, search on site yeah I've 
I don't believe you have a gotten to see my whole monitor so yeah don't panic <laughs> don't freak out actually I, I can see the whole screen it's just that how the screen capturing I set up mm. okay, let's move this one a little bit here XP. This could be it. I uh, should have put the zip. It says up to show more. Let's go show more. It says 10. It does not say XP. It says Ten or eight. How about we do this one? OS dependent. Complete driver pack. I had that one last night. I did download it. It didn't work. <coughs> I am. Um, It, oh, it could be this one. <clears throat> it gets to in the seven, does not go to XP, and stays at in seven. Let's go OS independent. So I had this one. It did not work. I can actually <coughs> go to downloads 24.2. And you see all these drivers. I don't know which one it's going to be. So the medium is good. Now I have to do one more thing. I'm gonna <coughs> actually run the server and I'm gonna actually get my physical laptop. I'm gonna install the hard disk that uh, I have somewhere and I'm gonna. Oh wow, look at that! Windows XP bringing all the memories of the twin uh, like 18 years ago. Wow, yep, this one. This was so exciting. Indeed, an exciting new look. Alright, so I'm gonna try that. Like, maybe it's just the. Um, maybe I'm like it down, installing it over the. This thing. And that's why it's saying. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, see if my actual physical laptop can grab the uh, and boot from pixie and get all the installation media done if it does 
that will be beautiful if not i will end up having a bad uh, motherboard uh, sorry uh, hard disk and i will have to boot it from a usb or something to fix that <coughs> if i can fix this that will be golden okay right there name let's put Imran oh product key wow I don't have a product key I have to go and find my CD <coughs> that's <laughs> and now I have to go again and open that uh, <coughs> cupboard it's so very deep okay I don't want to keep make you keep watching this video uh, sorry <laughs> it's getting keep getting longer and longer while i search for the video uh search for the that cd i actually bought that uh, windows xp original for like 300 bucks way back in 2006 imagine that uh, <laughs> i uh, i treasured that cd i love windows xp so uh, let me go and find my CD and then I'm gonna pa uh, resume the video. Let me pause it here. For some reason my mouse does not want to cooperate. Oh, it was, it was all control and left and now I can release it. I think, no, it's not releasing. How much is it control alt down? yes okay yeah it's very good thing that it happened once you're in the virtual machine and your mouse is stuck jammed there you can press all control and down arrow key and it will be released you see so it is released and when i go there it's no longer this uh, mouse cursor it's like the pointed dot but if i click here there it's gonna turn a mouse pointer but then you will not be able to get out of this one so f to get out of the virtual machine and into your uh, host actual host press alt control and down arrow key you see that turn a dot now you can go and let's pause the video all right so i was able to find it i have uh, entered it and uh, let's see uh, um let's continue our search for this 32 bit driver Let's try this one. It's a zip file. I'm gonna open, join the folder, and let's see what I have. Man, 
Pro 100, Pro 1000, and Pro XC. <laughs> All right, there, XP. Okay, that looks promising. Pro X. Let's see if I go Pro 1000. XP related. So this one is much more promising than the other one. If we go to 24, it says Pro 1000 x64 ce32 linux dos what is when x64 nothing let's go to 24 pro 100 64 x64 come on doesn't say so well <coughs> i'll play with it I will make it work no matter what I have to pro 40 GB it says 64 doesn't say XP so that's uh, app stocks all right so I'm gonna put that over there and see what I will get Okay, the file link is not valid anymore. It's exactly the same. I don't need it, so I'm gonna show in folder and I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna basically go with this one. Uh, whatever it is it's gigabit so i'm gonna do with this one there's an xp there so it should be i2 11 Okay, that's uh, a lot of primers. I just need to find out which one it's going to be. So that uh, 20 or 18 or some years old uh, laptop i actually wanted to try this uh, video this one on that one on that laptop the actual unfortunately it uh, i tried um, everything is broken uh, it reacts to the usb but uh, it wants uh, you to be an ad administrator to access it. Uh, I was trying to connect the USB keyboard and then I tried to see uh, if it gives me like CMD or it gives me the address bar on any uh, window like Internet Explorer or Windows Explorer, nothing. Then I hooked up the cable, the Ethernet cable and see if it works. It did not. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use that other laptop that has that's not as old it's only like maybe let's say about 11 years old okay all right 
so I'm going to use that 11 year old laptop for the pixie boot for Windows XP oh wow yep memories and uh, back then the Windows Pro professional came earlier uh, in my country than the home edition home edition was late and it was all green and we just tried it even though XP was working fine on our computers I had a Pentium 2 350 megahertz computer it has only it had only 256 megabits of RAM uh, imagine we used to work with those machines now uh, we all friends we just went and bought the CDs and we just went back to Windows XP uh, home edition just because it was green and we wanted to try it out then we found out the differences between them like because we were we wanted to we wanted to be able to send faxes uh, so we had switched back to uh, professional but that's how crazy we were back then we will try anything we'll corrupt it and well, and the reason we uh, or I had to install Windows a lot of time uh, was because I would go into the registry reg edit mess something up and I didn't care I say okay I'm gonna just install it again mm, I don't know if it works on virtual machine but what the hell let's go I don't want it to you know take time admin is fine right now okay if you insist oh wow so I had installed Windows all the time I had every Windows uh, installation media uh, and then I bought just a backup copies as well like uh, um, all of them I had the one that I will use every day and then I had the backup copies just in case and I was installing Windows if not at the peak of them time I was installing oh wow look at that that beauty right there it's working let's see if our Internet Explorer oh actually okay actually if you see in the bottom right here it says that to release your mouse press control alt and left arrow it actually tells you all right so might be at risk we don't care it message always pop used to be uh, pop up this is the famous uh, XP um, tour and you can actually click here or it will bring things around these lines see <laughs> wow <clears throat> best for business Windows XP was indeed a big big deal not for only Microsoft but for the general public as well uh, coming from Windows um, 98 and millennia they never uh, had the visual effects and appeal of a computer system I knew so many of my friends they bought computers only because of Windows XP look at these icons all right I think all right it's done everything is done we can exit the tour and up for the memory lane travel let's see if internet explorer is ah i don't need any connection is it do i connect to the internet no <laughs> uh, it was a back yeah uh, so we would use this more option all the time see oh, okay it's a good thing so this Windows uh, it's unable to connect to my Ethernet because again of that driver issue I believe let's see what I see in the my computer oh yeah this icon 
Well, so this is it, Windows XP, it's good to see it. I do not believe that I would be able to copy paste anything into it just because uh, the it hasn't picked up the Ethernet icon. But it's good to see that uh, the medium was good. Uh, it's just I need to figure out the drivers and then give it a shot. So I'm gonna shut this machine off and play with the drivers a little bit. Then uh, if I find the correct driver, I will definitely create a video. Thank you for watching and that was it. Let's uh...